Hey little bunnies. Sheila Gale here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been quite a minute since I've filmed one of these videos for you. Probably about a month or so. I feel like I've had like a bit of a creative block and I couldn't think of like many ideas for this channel and I'm still trying to decide like what kind of direction I want to take this channel and I'm still not sure. It's something I've been getting into recently is skincare because I've been watching a lot of skincare by Hiram. I'll link him below but he doesn't need any promo from me because he's very popular. It got me to thinking like what is my skincare routine and like what are my goals for my skin you know. He just helped me develop like, a basic skincare system that I follow and then I can replace like the products as needed. I wanted to like originally wait to film this video until my skin was perfect like because it's not perfect right now but then I realized like when is my skin ever going to be perfect? No one's ever perfect you know? So this is what I'm doing right now. It's kind of basic but it works for me now and I think once I start trying like new products like maybe I'll update my skincare routine, but this is it for now. So let's get started. Also, I will have all the products I'm using in this video linked below if you would like to buy them. I do have bunnies in my bathroom. It's a really small apartment. First step is I use the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Melting Balm. I use this in place of makeup wipes just because it's not as rough on your skin because it literally does melt like the makeup right off your skin as soon as it goes on and it leaves it really smooth and when you're using makeup wipes it's like really like kind of tugging at your skin and it's not good after a while also makeup wipes aren't good for the environment because it's like one use this is what i've been using now that i wear much makeup i just wear mascara and then sunscreen and sometimes this tinted sunscreen but usually i just take some of this and i put it like under my eyes because usually my mascara, when I wake up, goes under my eyes. And what I do, this is gross right now. I should have, I didn't know I was gonna film this video. I just decided I was gonna do it. So it's a little gross with makeup, but I use like a reusable makeup wipe. I'm gonna put some warm water on it and then I just go under. So I just do use it as, it, as if it were a makeup wipe. And then, it under my eyes and I use this big towel and I do the same thing I'll use the balm and I'll put it all over my face Hiram says to use a double cleansing system if you wear makeup or you know sunscreen which everyone should be wearing um so I put this on my face um and then I wet this towel with warm water I already did my mascara and eyebrows for this video. That's why I'm not completely submerging my face. This is just easier to do. So this is like a microfiber towel. No, I'll link the towels too because these are uh, on Amazon and I got it with the two little ones as well. It came with two of these big towels and then two of these little towels and they're like microfiber. They're like made to remove makeup and they're really soft. Wash them in the washing machine good for the environment. First step to cleansing. <laughs> Next, I use a face wash or face cleanser. So right now I'm using the Cetaphil Pro, this one, oil removing. So I'd say I have on my face combination skin, my forehead gets super oily. And then the rest of my face is normal to dry, like literally oily, normal to dry. But it drives me crazy that my forehead is always oily. So I use this because it is like an oil removing wash. Once or twice a week, I will use this salicylic, salicylic acid cleanser. I'm not sure how you say it. And this is an exfoliant. It's a chemical exfoliant, so it doesn't have like the micro beads in it which can like tear at your skin. This is what I learned from Hiram. So this is what I use once or twice a week as my cleanser but otherwise I use this one. Well, I did start off using this cleanser which is great if you have 
overall very dry skin but because my forehead's so oily it just made it extra oily so i don't need this much moisture because my moisturizer is super moisturizing and you'll see it once i get to it oh yeah and this is by inky list which you can't get in drug stores like most of my products you mm, i say half of my products you can get from drug stores and half are from Ulta or sephora i think this one's sephora i, I get it mixed up sorry but yeah this is inky list this is definitely one that hiram recommends and today it's not my um, exfoliating day so i'm going to use the cetaphil one and i'm going to go in with the same way oh i dropped the cap that i used my cleansing balm and just wet this towel and then it's a foaming oh okay bubbles it's a foaming wash yeah this is definitely a basic cleanser it's not very fun but it does the job you know it gets the job done it cleanses no add of added fragrance or unnecessary ingredients right. sorry my bunny's drinking water next in my skincare routine would be when I would do at night, I was originally gonna do AM and PM, but it's kind of like such a short video. I'm just gonna say what I usually do. So at night, once or oh, twice a week, I'll use the CeraVe, 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 retinol. And Hiram told me about retinol and it's to reduce the signs of aging. Oh, there's a fly in here, why? Where did you come from? Uh, and um, I don't, not that I really have wrinkles and like, so if you count forehead wrinkles when I do that, but it's just a preventative and it like, it's good for your skin. But it, I only use it at night because if you're wearing retinol and you get exposed to the sun, it could damage your skin. So I only use this when I go to bed and be careful not to get it too close to your eyes because that's not good. But yeah, so night, CeraVe retinol. And then I don't use this every day, but if I have a blemish, a pimple, whatever, I will use this Mario Badescu drying lotion. And all you do is take a Q-tip and dip it into the solution and put it directly on that pimple to dry it out. You do not put this all over your face. It's only a spot treatment and it helps to dry out the pimple. Some honorable mentions, like I used, I don't use, these aren't part of my routine, but I did buy them because Hiram would, kind of talked about them, was this lactic acid 10% HA. This is supposed to be a chemical exfoliant, but I realized that I would rather just get my chemical exfoliation through a face wash once or twice a week instead of using it as a single treatment. Not a product I use. And then I bought this rosehip seed oil, also by The Ordinary, and it is supposed to like reduce redness and like even skin tone. Like, cause I have like a little bit of more redness on my cheeks, so I kind of just wanted an all over even complexion. But this was a little too oily for my face, but I use it for my hands. It like really hydrates and like makes my hands really soft because I do get eczema on my hands and they get really dry. So I just put drops on my hands and it really helps. So at least I found a use for this one, the rosehip oil. This I'd probably only use if I was out of the, the salicylic acid cleanser. The next thing I have is my moisturizer. I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It comes in this ginormous tub for $15. It is extremely hydrating. You can use it also like on your body. Like I use it on my hands a lot as well. And it is extremely moisturizing. So uh, I don't put too much on my forehead because I do get oily there but the rest of my face, like I do apply a decent amount. And this lasts forever. 
like after this i use all this um looking into trying different moisturizers that aren't quite so hydrating because i don't really need that much hydration i mean everyone needs hydration but i like i need a moisturizer that's not so so hydrating under my eyes like a little bit like on my nose because i blow my nose a lot because of allergies and then i get like a little bit like above my eyebrow that's where i get dry and kind of but everywhere else normal than super oily so i just put like i kind of just pat it in to my forehead so i st still got to moisturize the oily parts of your skin but you just doesn't need as much moisturizer you know and then the excess i just put on my hands and then last the most important step is sunscreen now i use a few different forms i don't even use a foundation anymore i use the tinted CeraVe tinted sunscreen like as like a bb i don't know the difference between a bb or a cc cream but that's like the coverage it has but that's like all i need so depending on the day sometimes i use this sunscreen or i use just this baby bum face sunscreen i got the baby one because it's 50 spf and it's fragrance free i guess today i'll show you this one because this one's kind of boring you just this one i just slide all over my face but i think my favorite product is this it is sunscreen but it's powder it is the most creative best invention in the whole world because i always need setting powder on my forehead and it is by tarte see set and protect and it's all sunscreen so i'm gonna go in with this and i just apply it as if it were like a bb cream cc cream whatever yeah so just depending on the day sometimes i don't need this coverage like if it's warmer out maybe i'll use the 50. if i have like a little blemish i want to kind of cover i'll use the tinted one it just depends and then to set my sunscreen i use the tarte this thing is so cool so you like press the top to get the product in there and then boop, and i shake it and then it just sets it as if for were makeup Ooh, that's a it gets sometimes it like doesn't evenly distribute with this little brush but then i just go in i just go in with one of my makeup brushes and just even it out just to spread around the sunscreen evenly and that's it that's my whole skincare routine i'd say it's pretty simple but that's what's working for me now for now I'm sure I will, as I try new products, my skincare routine will update, but this is, this is fun to do. This is like what I'm interested in right now, so I wanted to share it with you. And again, all the products will be linked down below if you want to buy any of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload. I will see you little bunnies in the next one. Bye! You're in